Ah, idiot. Sidemen road trip. It's like 4:30 in the morning. I have a ferry to get in about three hours. It drives about two hours. Uh, and all together, as you can see by this massive map over here, the drive is going to be stupid. So I'm driving the whole way, I feel like, from Northern Ireland, going down over to the east coast, getting a ferry across to Scotland, hopefully meeting some friends along the way, and then heading down to South London, where the Sidemen live. It's quite windy as hell. I don't have a proper mic, uh, and if you look, I'm using I'm using my car as lighting. That's that's about as ghetto as we get. Well, actually, it's probably the most expensive lighting box you can probably buy. Anyway, so for those who don't know, I've done an Irish road trip, Tennessee road trip. I've done the Brighton road trip. I've done the Florida road trip. This is the longest road trip I've ever done. We're gonna go to the side of my house for like three days, cause carnage. This is gonna be a good one. So we'll get there, we'll figure it out, get on the ferry, and we'll start the vlog there. Let's do it! Okay, I have no idea how good the audio quality is gonna be or anything, but as you can hear that, Let's go time. We've got about an hour and a half going the whole way. As if you ever look here, we're going from here, Derry, London Derry, the whole way to a place called Larne. Larne is where the harbour is. I'm gonna turn this off. You guys won't be able to see me that well. The ferry is around two hours long. It's from 7.30 to 9.30. I'm shitting myself because I have no idea if this car is gonna be able to get on the ramp. Also, as a side note, this is my suitcase because as you can imagine, the boot or the trunk in the Ferrari, it's in the front and it's very, very, very compact and very small. So any regular size suitcase is not gonna fit in there. There's not much footage I can get of me going towards the harbor. It's an hour and a half drive, it's in pitch black. There's gonna be no one on the road, it's not very exciting. So see you guys when we get there. No idea how the hell we did that in such a good time. It is currently 6.07 a.m. And if you look there, check-in is at 6.15. We absolutely nailed that. My only concern is if you've been on a ferry before, you'll know that if, I, if they put me in the upper deck, how the hell this car is going to go up that ramp? That's what I'm shitting myself about. I just prefer for my bumper to stay on during this trip, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Club lounge access. It was like five dollars, so hell yeah. Priority parking because I don't want to scratch my car. Again, like five dollars. I'm the first one here. Who would have thought? Here was me thinking, you know, I was late, I was gonna do it, I was second in line to go through check-in, and now we're here. I've been on this ferry, but you know, three or four times, but it's always been buses or it's been family. It's never been myself. So this is a learning experience for me. So I was kind of wondering if this would all just go wrong. But so far, it's all gone right. All was going well until the person over there won't stop staring at me. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, but she's still staring. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I've been here for 10 minutes. <laughs> Every time I look over, she's looking. Oh, wait, one more time. Wait. Um. <laughs> I wonder if I can do a quick pan. Yep, see? I have to blur her face for, you know, recording purposes, but she won't stop looking at me. First on, they already loaded lorries and whatnot, but your boy got priority boarding. Again, I've only ever done this on bus tours and family trips where my dad was driving. I've never done this by myself, and I haven't done it in like eight years. What up, it's me, your boy, nervous. Actually, this ramp is not as bad as I thought. <laughs> this is dope. This ferry is like two hours. Nothing. Have lunch. Here we go. Okay, let's try it. It's about 9.47 in the morning. 
been gone since about 4, 4.30, and basically what we're doing now is we're going to meet up with a YouTuber called Chaboy. If you don't know Chaboy, Scottish CSGO YouTuber. As you can see, Scotland just being Scotland, and just the UK period, it's pissing down with rain. So what I want to do is I have like suction cups I want to put on the side of the cars, but the problem is with the vibration of the car and the engine, it'll just slip off. So I have to wait till it dries out, I have to go buy a towel somewhere. But this is the next part of our journey, as you can see on the map here. We start off in Northern Ireland, we went across the river, we went across the sea. Now we're in Cairn Ryan in Scotland. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, Charles Lamborghini. So this is gonna be good. Okay, so I just recorded that segment literally a second ago. And then you you just pulled, I saw your car pull past. And then you drove in here and just stopped right in front of the car. And you're like, hello. <laughs> Did I say anything to the camera? Hi. Done deal. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing you'll never really get over is just the fact that you can meet fans from anywhere in the world, whether it be LA or Scotland, Northern Ireland, even in Dubai or Australia. Obviously, whenever I'm making videos in my room and whatnot, it's just me in a room talking to a camera, kind of like what I'm doing right now. And sometimes you forget the global reach that just YouTube has as a whole. That just, I, I love it, man. Just being able to meet people, whether it be on the boat, whether it be this time in the vlog so far, we've been recognizing all the three places of stop, whether it be the gas station, petrol station, then on the boat, and now just after the boat. And it's, you guys are incredible. <laughs> You're coming up and saying hi to me. Oh, y'all making my day. <laughs> Turns out there's a massive diversion on the route that I want to go. So now, welcome. This is a proper, you know, this is a proper run through of what the UK is really, really like. So now, it's this very, very small country road, and there's a massive, massive truck over there. And now I think everyone's confused on what to do because they led the motorway onto this road. This was the diversion road for the motorway. I have no idea what they were thinking. I'm, I'm a boy the hell out of Scotland right now. Boy, there's a few reasons why I'm late. This is definitely one of them. <gasps> we're moving, we're moving. Oh, there's two lorries passing each other. Uh, can I scooch in? Oh, oh my God, yeah, that's, that would do it. Man, Premier Freaks! I'm a shit on your man! I'm trying to go visit me Scottish Lamborghini, brother! That was, <laughs> that's really bad. Oh, mate, that's, that's fucking close, man! I have no idea how long this is. And that's what, oh, 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 there's a red light. Ah, there's light. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Anyway. Okay, we're taking a detour for a second because I found one of the best names of a town little village I've ever seen in my life and I need to go take a picture beside it. Hi, I'm gonna go back and show you guys because that's brilliant. Okay, so it's supposedly it's this way. Okay, let's go have a look. I was just driving down the motorway, down the highway, and I saw this name and I had to turn in. I had to. Chat, if you're watching this, I know I'm gonna be a little bit late to lunch and I apologize, but I, when you watch this, I hope you understand why. Look at this. Look at this little fucking street. This is the little steep street. And this is where you need to go to get the place, supposedly. Just give me a signpost, that's, that's all I need. Give me a signpost and I'll, I'll be on my way. I will be on my way. Oh, I'm so lost now. Oh, I'm so lost now. I just need a signpost and I'll be fine. Come on. No, there's no way. By the looks of it, it is indeed a, a little far away. Hold on. No, I've missed it. So that's it right there. There's no signpost for the name of this place, but just look look, look at map, okay? I, I drove past this. The place I'm in right now is called Black Craig. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you understand that as a guy named Craig, there's no way that I can't stop at a place called Black Craig. It's called Black Craig. I'm sorry, this is unfocused. I'm just very all over the place. You can't blame me. It's called Black Craig. <laughs> I have to stop here. Okay, I need to get back on because I'm going to be even more late for lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the adventures of Black Craig. And now we're back on to our regular programming. Three minutes 
away, half a mile away. We are now in Dumfries itself. Uh, am I late? Yes! Chuck came the whole way from Edinburgh, which is about, you know, 150 miles away. And I came about, you know, 100 miles the other way. Well, 100 miles since the... Half feet, turn right onto White Sands. White Sands, got it. This is the one thing I love about the UK, is there's so much culture in it as well. There's so much culture, there's so much history behind it. That's what I originally meant to say. He's like... Turn left onto Bank Street, then your destination will be on the left. Got it, we're here. This is it. I beat Cha! Ah, I feel like Top Gear! Where the hell do I park? Can I park here? Done. <laughs> There's the, <laughs> there's the one himself. How you doing? There's fucking no park. Oh, that's a parking center right there. Oh, <laughs> oh there's a guy behind you. Oh, right. Yeah, here, here, go, go in there. I'll, I'll probably follow you in there. <laughs> How the hell did I put my hazards on? I'm trying to figure out. Hold on. Huh? I'll have you! <laughs> Idiot. I'm so sorry. I was following him, he went the wrong way, so I had to back up. I'll, I'll, we'll go over there and we'll sort it. Is this just Sony insurance? Chat, we're going back to get my suitcase. Someone's gonna fucking steal it. Can you tell I'm flustered? <laughs> Fuck me. This is about a. St I've left my suitcase over by the guy. He's probably. He's probably. Go. We're going now. We're going now. What a fucking mess. What an absolute mess. Why in the hell did I ever come to Dumfries? Remind me never to come here again. This is bad luck central. I don't like it. Is he still there? My suitcase is gone. I've done some shit. This is what happens. This is the same thing as when I play video games. I get flustered, my brain doesn't work anymore. <laughs> we don't talk about this anymore. <laughs> well, let's try this bastard again. I found it! Give me a fucking fucking back. Good, man. Good, good. Good, good. Right, so we're never coming to the dumb freeze again. There you go. There's Chaz's toy. There's my toy. Yeah! Uh, that's the winner. Uh, that, that's a hundred hundred percent the winner. Ooh, she's nice. She has nice. <laughs> that's one thing about Lambos as well is that you don't expect it to actually have stuff. Like your entire dash is a screen. Good you got your navigation, your mobile, your telephone, and stuff. You know, whenever the camera wants to focus in. That four wheel drive slipping. Uh, no. Uh, I was about to say, say, the thing about it is, is like when, whenever you're behind the wheel, you, you feel the G-forces, but like nice. when you don't hold on to the steering wheel, it just fucking goes back. <laughs> you nearly made me drop my camera. <laughs> Mate, you nearly made me drop my camera. <laughs> the camera in the footage is just going to go like that. Oh, uh, man. You're going in and around a city, right? Yeah. But you can still hear a purr. For me, it doesn't purr. It doesn't purr. Whenever you put the foot down, it takes a bit. And then when it gets like 3,000 revs, then it goes, <laughs> then it just goes. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a third boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yours is, yours is a bit quicker, yeah. <laughs> this vehicle is fueled by recycled dinosaur. I get, get appreciate, you know, dinosaurs being, you know, recyclable. Helping the environment. Any, any parting words? I just want to say thank you for coming here. Meet me, many lads. I hope you enjoyed Scotland. I, no, Scotland. <laughs> Scotland's great. Scotland's good. Dumfries. Dumfries, no. Uh, <laughs> thumbs up all around. Leave a comment. Links are in the description. Use code chat. Whatever yeah. <laughs> happened to CSGO skins and what? Whatever happened to that? No comment. No. <laughs> Dumfries is done. That was eventful. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so glad to be done with here. But. For those living in Dumfries, no harm done. It's just been a very, very unlucky city for me. So now, we've got one more visitor to meet. Whether it's in this video, whether it's in the next one, I'm not 100% sure. But we are going down 
to the king of Fortnite himself. We're going down to Alier's place. So, it's about a six hour journey from here to there, uh, and he lives in and around London as well. So we've got six hours to make this happen. I've changed around the GoPros and whatnot, and we're gonna go have some fun. Let's do this. I just saw the sign that I passed. I didn't know it was this close. I thought we were like another good 20 minutes away. But no, clearly, we are now in England. So, we've got like 200 miles to go. And the problem is now, it is 200 miles to go on this. It's not cool Scottish roads anymore. It's motorways and highways for 200 miles. Wow. So basically what I'm trying to say is footage wise, there's really not much going on. You can imagine what the little clip I just showed you for the next 200 miles. So what I'm gonna do is I'll record little bits here and there. If something funny happens, I'll let you guys know. And then if I just stop somewhere, because I'm not driving for six hours straight, that, that's a hell no. Well, currently it is 4.49 p.m., which means we're about 12 hours into this road trip as of right now. And um, so we've got like four hours to go. I think the traveling part, the fun part is pretty much done because I mean, it's been what, an hour since I've talked to you? Still nothing has changed. It's still just a highway, freeway, motorway, whichever one you call it. Okay, as you can see, it's got pitch black, completely dark out. The road works are awful, uh, and my Red Bull is just completely worn off. It's 7.45, I've been going for like, what, 15 hours now? Um, and I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a 20 minute power nap. Um, I just, I, I'm just so tired, like, I felt myself, like one of my eyes was slowly starting to close, I'm like, nah, can't do that. Not, not even a little bit. So, take the nap, go in there, get a coffee, get like a Mars bar or something like that. The annoying thing was, is I parked up here and there was a minivan full of like 15 people, and they all got out and they are like, <gasps> Red! and just screaming I'm like I'm in the car please leave um so yeah I'm gonna go for a nap I'll see you guys in a bit good morning what time is it 8.29 I slept for like 35 minutes now we got like two and a half hours left. Actually, no, hang on. How long do I have left? I have no idea. 150 miles, two and a half hours left. And I got a Mars bar because it's the best thing to have whenever you're tired. Like, whenever I used to go camping and stuff like that, we used to have these just to give yourself a boost. Some water and we're just gonna chug it on. Just get this done. I feel like this is just a series of updates now. There's not much interesting going on. It's just, hey, by the way, this happened. And by the way, so it's 9.28 right now. I was just driving along, everything was going fine. And then it sounded like popping on the ceiling. So I pulled over into the hard shoulder and it stopped, which is fine. And then I got out of the car and then I had a look in the back and it is just roaring. Like, I think the engine might be overheating, which makes sense. It's been going for what? 16 hours today, but we're so close. We're like an hour and a half away from Ali's place We're so close and the fact there's like popping going on and stuff like that It's making me worry that this car is gonna break down because this car breaks down. I'm screwed Oh my god, this is just a series of unfortunate events, but we're getting there. We will get there at some point after I want to say nearly 550 miles We are less than a mile away. It is 11 33 at night. We managed to get there in one day, even though it did take us 19 hours. <laughs> oh, this is a really stupid idea, but an amazing experience. And oh, we just getting started, boys. I'm gonna stay quiet because Ali's sleeping next door, but I understand this is the Sideman road trip, okay? But it took me 19 hours to get to here, and then afterwards I spent the drive to the Simon house, which is over an hour drive away. So, I'm staying here for the night. I got here at like 12, so I didn't record anything. I just, I just want to relax and just chill with them. Whether I record anything tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure. I know Ali gets a lot of shit for his Fortnite thumbnails and all that kind of stuff, but the fact 
dude brought me in, you know, and last second you can stand in those human relax, just do what you want. It speaks words. So Ali, if you're watching this, God bless you, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, you probably saved my life, to be honest with you, because I think I probably would have died if I would have drove today. But it's just good to see people who, even though they're extremely successful, are still really humble and down to earth. I like that. I'm gonna go to bed. We got a busy day ahead of us tomorrow. We're going to see the side men tomorrow. We're gonna stay with them. We're gonna have a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, with that being said, day one, done. Mr. Ali, good morning. How you doing? Good, good. We uh, hosted you for the night, didn't we? We did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this house is wild. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? No! Okay, this is fine now, but not in the same <laughs> 